It was one of the stars of the Paris Motor Show and now is in dealer shops. Peugeot is counting on the 3006 to enrich its range of vehicles and attract new customers, those who like the crossover style. This car is more than a sedan, not really an estate, and especially not an out-of-fashion SUV. The 3006's mission is to invest into a market niche the French car maker has ignored until now. But does this car have what it takes to win over a new clientele? To be frank, we're not convinced. Its traits are a bit heavy, especially at the front end, which deserves current styling cues and this enormous grille traversed by a bumper. At 4 metres 36 and a half long, 1 metre 83.7 wide and 1 metre 63.9 tall, the 3008 lacks a little finesse. The 3008 wants to be a window of technology for Peugeot that is applied to all its know-how to the equipment on offer, including a heads-up display and anti-distant alert system. These two are inseparable and a touch of luxury for this new range. While not having the modularity of a monospace, the compact version will be introduced at the Frankfurt Auto Show which will be a crossover that will have on offer a habitability worthy of satisfying potential buyers. The 3008 features this double opening hatchback and the lower portion can carry up to 200 kilograms and there is a three-way height adjustment and we like the idea that the boot volume can be increased. The imposing centre console separates the driving position and the multiple storage sections are the heart and soul of the 3008 interior style. The passenger side grip is all very terrain-like, the presentation quality and the sense of comfort aboard are well present, and decidedly we really like the glass roof that bays the interior in light. For a vehicle susceptible to leave the pavement for the dirt, the turning radius is a tad short. A version with MNS tyre and a programmable anti-skid system will allow the 3008 to be used in precarious grip conditions, an attractive quality for those who want a more versatile vehicle. The range of engines isn't bad either, whether it is an HDI or petrol motor. The 1.6 THP could even reconcile one with petrol engines again. It is, though, a shame the gear shift is a bit difficult to engage. The 3008's interior is quite nice, but the jury is still out on whether it will be enough to worry the competition.